Hi everyone! This is a series of videos named What Pagefly Can Do. In these videos, I will use Pagefly to build Shopify pages based on famous websites, so that we can demonstrate capability of our app, and the reason why Pagefly is number one Shopify page builder. In this video, we will guide you how to build a landing page. Today's website is Nike.com. A landing page is a standalone web page created specifically for a marketing or advertising campaign. With this landing page, Nike wants to show their collections for men. Now let's start. In the Pagefly dashboard, go to the Pages. Head to Create a Bank Page and select Regular Page and we will go to Pagefly Page Editor. With the first section, we need to add a banner image that shows clearly the product. You should remember to add Feature Product to Hero Banner because it can be an effective way to promote a product, drive sales, and enhance the overall user experience of a website. I will drag and drop a one over one layout into the page editor and add an image element inside the section. Under the image, we need a heading, a paragraph and a button. Drag and drop one more one over one layout into page editor. Then, add a heading element first, then a paragraph element below. And lastly, I will add a button like this. Back to the first section to add the image. Head to General tab and click on Select Image. To make the image full width, click on the section. Go to the General tab and then turn off the Set Fix Width option. With the section below, click the heading and change the text in the General tab. Switch to the Styling tab to change the font family, font size. Pagefly has a lot of font you can find here. You can also add a custom font to the Pagefly page if Pagefly does not have the font you want. Pagefly does not have Helvetica Nui. So I uploaded an uploaded fonts in extra function. You can check in uploaded font here. For more details, please check the video I put in the description of this video. Choose Helvetica font. Set font size to 105 pixels. Adjust line height and letter spacing. And I will adjust the padding top, and bottom margin of heading element to make it closer to the image above. You can do similarly to the paragraph and the buttons below. And here is the result. With the first button, if you want to link it to your collection page to show your products, you can use the go to your L click action, paste the link to the collection page here. Switch to the styling tab, you can style for the normal state and hover state of the button. In the normal state, I change the background color. Adjust the padding to make the button bigger. And change the border radius like this. Move to the mouse over state. Change the background color and you can see how it work. Pretty cool, right? All done. Now I will choose the column that you can see on breadcrumbs and click here to make the content center. In the next section, Nike shows three essential collections for men in their store. You will need a two-column layout. The first column has an image, a title and a button on it. The second column includes two small rows. Back to the page editor. Firstly, I will add a heading element into a new section. Change the heading text to shop the essentials. Customize it. Below the heading, drag and drop a two-column layout. To add text on image, you need to use background image instead of image element. So, in the left column, go to the styling tab. Scroll down to the background parameter here and I will add a background image to this column. Click more settings, click center, and choose cover for background size. And then you can add heading and button on this image. I will quickly customizing them. And here it is. Now I will choose the column again. Go to the styling tab. Adjust the top and bottom padding here to make the column bigger. Make sure to adjust the left padding to make space between the content and the edge of the column. The right column has two small rows so you should add one layout again. Head to it element, click on one half layout and drag and drop it into this column. Move to general tab. Set one for column per line. 
Now we have two columns, you can do similar as the left columns. And here it is. Next, the third section. This section is to show the popular products in your store. To show this, you can use the product list element in PageFly. You can see on Nike's page, there is a carousel here. This feature is not available in PageFly now, but I will show you an alternative way. Click at Shopify element icon in the left sidebar. I will drag and drop the product list element into the page editor. Go to the general tab. You can choose to show all products in your store or show products in a specific collection. I will choose custom collection and add products like this. Adjust items per loading and items per row 2, 3. And scroll down a bit, you can see the loading mode option here. I will choose pagination. With this feature you can see other products by moving to the next page. Remember that this feature only works on LevView. And now to make the product list show like this. I will delete the product title, product price and product add to cart button. Click the add element button here, drag and drop a block element under the product image, add manually the product title element and product price inside the block. To put these elements in one line, click on the block and choose flex here. Scroll down, you will see the justify content. Click on it and I will choose space between. And finally I will add margin top and bottom of the title to zero. Add some styles for these elements. Here is the result. The next section is let's go, which is quite similar to shop the essentials, it's even easier because it just has two columns. You can duplicate that section and change the content. Next one is collection section. You can achieve it by using Shopify collection list element. Firstly, I will add a heading. Then change the content to more to explore. Scroll up. You can copy style of shop the essential sand paste here. Next, you can access Shopify collection list and add Shopify element in the left toolbar. It will set all collections automatically in collection source. To adjust the collection you want, you should click on custom collection and select the collection. I will choose three sections here. And click on the arrow button to move it to selected collection and save change. You can adjust the number of collection in items per row. I will set three. Click on collection title and adjust style for it such as color, font size, font family, etc. To make it similar to the sample page I will select left for text alignment here. Almost done. To link the collection with collection image and collection title, you can turn on the option link to collection in general tab. Next, I will add a button below the collection title. Change the content and style for it. I will link the button to the collection too. Click on the button. On the general tab, scroll down and you will see the click action on the drop down menu. I will select go to URL, a modal will appear. You just need to choose the collection you want to link. The next two sections are similar. You can do the same as I did before. Don't forget to switch to other devices to check responsiveness. Adjust some padding, margin and size. For the rest section, you just need to adjust the padding, margin of font size of elements as I did before. Now I will save and publish the page. Then you can check the page on the live view. And here is the result. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more new videos. Our friendly and knowledgeable team is available via live chat 24-7 to assist you with any issues you might encounter. Thanks for watching.